I guess I knew I wanted to be a teacher after I had gone to college already and I had a degree and I first wanted to be a park ranger. But then I was married to someone in the military and then that wasn't going to be very feasible. So, and my next door neighbor asked me if I wanted to substitute teach with them and so I started on that route. And then I just thought, well, I might as well go back to school, get a few more courses and I can get certified. When I was in school, I did not like school very much and I swore I would never enter a school again. So um, I was kind of a struggling student. And then I guess it was maybe my junior year, I had a really good psychology teacher. He kind of changed my views a little bit on education teachers and then when I went to college, I initially went for social work, and a lot of the classes like child psychology and things like that kind of overlapped with education courses. And I spent some time in the classroom and had to create lesson plans and do some of the things that teachers had to do. And I was like, this is kind of fun. This is, I, I feel like I'm kind of good at this. I knew I wanted to be a teacher pretty early on in my career. Um, I knew that I wanted to be a teacher when I was in high school. Wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do, I had a really inspirational teacher named Coach Shockin Zuber, and he was one of the most inspirational men in my life, and I knew that I wanted to follow in his footsteps. And so I thought that I would teach history. I went to Austin Peay State University, and when I was at Austin Peay, I found out that I really had a passion for math and science, and by pure happenstance, I happened to uh, get my physics endorsement, and so that landed me over here at Kenwood High School to teach the STEM engineering courses in physics. When you're working with with first graders, and you have such a wide variety of children, you of course have to be very clear so that they know exactly what you want of them, and then we can just get down to the learning. I've been teaching first grade all this time, and I want to stay in first grade because I've just built up such a great amount of resources, and I know pretty much what I can do and what I need to do with them to get them ready for the next step, because. First grade is so important to get, make sure they have that solid foundation. Having taught with uh, the more standard method and comparing it to the hands-on and the EDP that we use, I love doing the EDP. It's, it's so much more engaging for students. Uh, they have such a better chance to learn and actually apply what they've learned in class. So, you know, we've done lots of a variety of different challenges here at the STEM Academy that have ranged from actually learning all the trigonometry that's involved with rocket launches and then going in launching rockets that we built ourselves. We've done these things with the t-shirt cannons which we're working on today where they've actually learned the physics behind the vector launch and the quantities and being able to use something like the Pythagorean theorem to determine how far does my shirt need to shoot and then actually be able to construct a device that's going to do something like that. So it's definitely better when it's hands-on because now you don't have that question, when am I going to use this? I'm using it now. I really look forward to coming into my job every day. I know that every day is going to be a little bit different. I know that my kids are going to have something a little bit different that they have to do. We're going to work on things. And it doesn't matter whether it's in the engineering classroom or it's in the physics classroom. I know that at the end of the day, we're going to be working on stuff that's interesting to them, that I have a passion for teaching, and that together we're going to work together to accomplish something great. I'm so honored to represent not just Minglewood now, but to represent Clarksville Montgomery County school system, because our school system is really a top school system. They push us, we keep changing, we keep growing, and we look at what's new and what the new trends are, and moving on with what's new to get our kids ready for what's changing in the world. So I'm, I'm very proud to represent Clarksville. The students, first and foremost, keep me coming back for sure. I learn from them so much more then I think sometimes they learn from me throughout the day. They come to school not knowing what they're dealing with in their home lives, and sometimes knowing what they're dealing with in their home lives, they still come with a positive attitude and a love for learning. I mean, when they raise their hands and they're almost jumping out of their seat because they want to answer a question, and then, you know, maybe they go home and they don't know if there's going to be anybody there to take care of them or they're getting their siblings ready. I just, it just inspires me. In addition, the staff here, my administrators here, I've worked at a lot of schools in a lot of different states, and you don't get bosses like that. They're very good, and they're very passionate about what they do. When you have that, you get teachers that stay. You know, everybody that works here has a big heart, and so you never have, you know, conflict with each other. There's never any drama, which I've seen that at other schools as well, but I just think that, you know, who my administrators have picked and who's been working here for years, they just have the biggest hearts, and I think that that's just not not something you find everywhere and that keeps me coming back.
I feel like I have such a profound impact and I can have those higher level conversations with students, especially when it comes to helping them become college and career ready. When you think about our kids and, and what they go through, I didn't know that I had a passion for engineering like I do now, and I wouldn't have known that had I not had this opportunity to teach her. But I think about how many kids don't know that because they don't take these courses. And now that they have the opportunity to have someone who understands that and say to them, this can be what your life looks like. It's, it's absolutely life-changing.